Well, Eric, the National Weather Service says the Stillaguamish set a record today for flood stage here in Arlington. We know the water covered roads, it damaged homes, and people here in Snohomish County are waiting for the water to recede. Alejandro and his family knew they lived close to the river. It is, oh, wow, this is a river, this is coming. But they didn't expect this. Oh, today this is more. Their home, one of around a dozen with flood damage after the Stillaguamish River flooded over its banks. Their house may be damaged. The only thing you can do is get your car and get out. People along the river told us they've been watching the flood forecast for days. This has been a major flood and everybody around here has been scared to death. It didn't take long for the water to come over several roadways. This is right outside of Arlington. The people who live near here tell us they have not seen it this high in years. Road closures popped up around Arlington today, but some drivers went around them. This driver got stuck in the water and her car shut off, so firefighters had to go get her out. She was in about a foot of water, so it was coming into her vehicle. It started her, stalled her vehicle out, and she's unable to keep warm. This is only the second time I've ever seen the river this high. People who live near the Stillaguamish River are used to getting flood warnings. With record-setting flood levels here today in Arlington, this was one nobody here will forget. You know, get all your ducklings back across the river with you and get everybody safe and sound and be prepared to hunker down for a couple of days. Now, the sign says road closed, but a lot of drivers are taking that as a suggestion. We've seen probably 100 people drive past this sign and go down through the floodwaters. That woman who was rescued in her car today, she's okay, but she is going to have a little bit of hurt because the sheriff says she is going to receive a $432 fine for ignoring that sign. Reporting live in Arlington, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Jeremy, thank you. And take a look at this. During a brief break in the rain this afternoon, one of our Como crews put up a drone to get a bird's eye view of the flooding taking place in Arlington. You can see floodwaters covering part of a road and completely covering a park that's right across the street from the river. Four people and a dog had to be rescued after